Hello everyone, today I want to show you how you can transfer a sequence from Adobe Premiere to Avid Media Composer. Alright, this is the sequence I want to transfer. I have a bunch of video clips, some sound design and also some music. There are also a bunch of transitions, some audio transitions and also a video transition to see if that is going to transfer as well. To bring the sequence into Avid Media Composer, we're going to export it. We go to File, Export, AAF. Usually I would always recommend to include a video and also an audio mix down. I'm not going to do it this time just to speed things up. But in general, it's a really good idea just to see if everything really transferred correctly into Avid. All right, now I just have to click OK. Avid test AAF. I got a few errors, but I don't think we have to worry about them. A color clip was ignored and some audio track volume, but that's OK for now. OK, let's switch into Avid Media Composer. Now you can just drag and drop your AAF. This is it, let's organize it with Command E. This is our sequence here. Avid is going to duplicate it. It looks pretty good, we just have to relink it now. Here's how we can do that. Right click into your bin, input source browser. Here we're gonna select all our footage. I got all my footage and all my music in one folder. You probably have to click through several folders to relink everything but the process is the same. Usually it's a good idea to transcode everything now, but I'm gonna skip that just to speed things up a bit. To relink everything to your sequence, select all your video and audio files, and then select your sequence, right click, relink. Here you want to select items in all open bins, select tape name and source file name, ignore extension can be helpful as well, and press OK. And here's our relinked sequence. Looks all pretty good. We have the audio transitions here. We also have the video transition here. The mixed frame rates were no problem. I did resize most of the video clips in Adobe Premiere. It looks like that didn't transfer to Media Composer. We have a bunch of video effects on our clips. Let's take a look at those. Unavailable effect, that's probably the resize. I would get rid of those just to make sure Avid is not complaining about them and the same for the audio effects. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with it. Just remember to resize your video clips, right click on your clip, source settings, frame flex, because otherwise Media Composer might stretch them, like in this case here. If you do this, you need to update your sequence to make those frame flex changes visible. All right, if this video helped you, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.